Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to work with properties or props within React. We're gonna cover some introductory stuff as well as some best practices. So let's get going on that right now. So now it's time to introduce properties or as frequently referred to as props in React where you can add a property onto a given component and pass information into that property that you can then use inside of your component. Now props will become a very important part about how you use React but for now let's just build a very quick example so that you can exactly see the syntax and how we build props. So let's come to our code here, and the first thing we want to do is we want to actually pass in a prop to this element here. So in our component, we can just simply say name, and name can be equal to anything, right? You could pass in an object in here, you could pass in JavaScript in here, and in fact, if you have brackets like so, you could pass in any sort of JavaScript. You could say something like false, you could have an expression, but either way, we're just going to be passing this in a string right now. And the string is just going to be Scott. I'm gonna be saying hello to myself here. Okay, so name is now equal to a string of Scott. What that means is that inside of our component here, keep in mind that this React DOM render, I'm going to give some space here, and this hello world component, these are very separate things. This is just saying render the component to the screen. This right here is the component itself. So we've passed this value Scott into the component right here, and now we don't have to do anything here to actually get this component working. All we have to do is simply uh, inside of our code here we can have our brackets like so and what we can have is this dot props dot and then the property. So we can say name. So now hello world should now become hello Scott as this dot props dot name looks for the props passed into hello world and sees Scott. So let's head to our page, let's refresh. I'm gonna bump this up just so it's blatantly obvious that this is hello Scott. And as you can see, if we were to change this to anything, hello Tim, refresh. Hello, Tim. Okay, so now as you can see, we have quickly and easily added a property to our component. Now I'm gonna open up my inspector here. Now one thing we can do here is we can add a default prop. For instance, we can come here and inside of our component, uh, before our render function here, if we hit a space here and we wanna create a new function, and now this function is something that's created by React, it will run before your component is rendered. So we can say, get default props. Get default props is also a function. And because this is an object, we need to go round this off with a comma here. So inside of our get default props, what we can simply do is return an object, so we have curly brackets, and then we can give some values here. So we can say name, and name can be equal to Scott. Okay, so the default value for name is now going to be Scott. So in this instance, we're passing in Tim. Tim is still going to override Scott, right? Because Scott is just the default value. If we remove Tim entirely from the picture here and we just say hello world, it's not going to say, uh, it's not gonna give us an error and it's not going to be blank. It's going to say hello Scott. Now it's a really good practice to define your props and what their types are in your component. That's why it's sort of self-documenting. And in addition to that, if you aren't using the correct prop type when you pass your value into it, you'll see an error. So let's go ahead and check that out, right? So what we can add here is we can add prop types. Now prop types is going to be an object. Again, this whole thing is a JavaScript object, so we need to have a comma after that. Now we can simply say name, and we want to give this a prop type. So to do that, we can say react.proptypes. Notice how this is camel case with a capital P. And then the last value here is going to be what type it actually is. So since this is expecting a string, we can say string. And the prop types available are array, bool, func, number, object, and string. 
So if you're passing it in a function, do not type function. And if you're passing in a Boolean, do not type Boolean. It's bool and func. Now here we can actually, let's try to pass this in something that's not a string. So we can say name is equal to and then just pass it in false, right? We're gonna pass it in a Boolean. It's going to, now when we refresh, it's gonna say failed prop type, invalid prop name, type of Boolean supplied expected string. So this is great. If we wouldn't have had that statement, we wouldn't have gotten this error that would have said, hey, it, we're looking for a string here. So it's important to define your prop types even though it's not necessary for this to work. Now in addition, if you wanna make this property required right now this isn't required right if we don't have anything here it's going to output Scott right uh, if we want to make this prop required what we can actually just simply say is tack on the end of the string period is required okay and that's very simple now when we refresh we do see Scott here that's because we have a default type if we were to get rid of this default type save this refresh you can see it's saying that name was required. We add this back and it's going to be all good. Awesome, so this is a great introduction to properties in React. Now, properties are gonna become a lot more important over the course of the series as we're passing in objects and then we're iterating over objects and we're passing data down through our components. Now in the next video, we're going to pass some information into our first component, which will be then carried on into our second component uh, to illustrate the downstream approach of data. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to help support me and Level Up Tutorials, you can check out store.leveluptutorials. There's a lot of cool stuff there, including digital series to download and some t-shirts and stuff. So stop by store.leveluptutorials.com and check it out. As always, this is Scott Talinsky, and thank you for watching.